Oh my god, dude. He came up top. That was sick. Y'all ever wondered if a frog will work in shore? Uh, there's your answer. I don't think anybody can ever get enough of top water blow ups. There's something just absolutely sick about those top water blow ups. And uh, truthfully, being able to fish a fast moving bait on top water, getting those fish really aggressive and fired up when they're in a feeding pattern, there is nothing like watching them come explode on the top of the water and drag your bait right down. But there's some really interesting things that come with top water often. They come with treble hooks and uh, hooks that sit lower in the water column and that can make it difficult sometimes, especially during these warmer months when you have a lot of floating grass or a lot of grass in the area. Even if you're fishing a shallow grass flat at a lower portion of the tide, that grass can be really troublesome for you, especially when it gets caught up on your line and it just tends to drag through the water. But what if I told you that there was a topwater lure that didn't have all of those downsides. What if I told you there was a topwater lure that you could burn super fast? You didn't have to worry about hooks getting hung up on grass underneath the bait, and you could move this bait at a full clip just with a straight retrieve without having to work any special action. Well, truth is, there's a bait just for this, and a lot of people may not consider this as a bait for inshore species. Redfish, speckled trout, snook, they absolutely love some topwater action and a great way to do that is with a frog. Now, just to show you guys here, this is a Z-Man goat toad. As you guys can see, there's some legs dangling down there at the bottom, and those uh, bit of flanges down there on the bottom do uh, put off a lot of water dispersion as they come through the water. Now, as I said, we have just recently added uh, these frogs to our tackle shop at fishstrong.com. We've added both the white option and the red bone here. Both are absolutely deadly and catch a lot of fish. Now, as I said, some of the perks about topwater frogs is that they have a hook in the top portion. As you guys can see, the hook actually comes out there in the top of the bait. So uh, when you're running this bait on the water surface, it does not get caught up on grass underneath like most topwaters would. Another cool bonus to these is unlike many other topwaters where you have to walk the dog or actually have action to that lure, these frogs are not at all the case with that. You can actually chunk and wind these frogs and just pulling them across the top of the water surface, those legs that are there on the back end and dangling really well there, those will create a lot of water displacement, a lot of sound, and I'll really be able to attract those fish as it's moving fast across the top of the water. Now, another really cool bonus about these is you don't have to move them fast at all. You can kill these and let them sit on or at or near the top of the water and fish will come back and strike them. A cool thing that I like to do is if a fish may uh, miss this the first time around, I'll kill it, maybe just give it a couple twitches like it was a true hard body topwater lure and they will come back and smack this bait. So just to touch on when it's good to use these, Obviously, first thing in the morning is going to be a good one. But one of the bonuses about these frogs is they can be used anytime. It doesn't have to be just in the morning. You can use these at all times during the day. And these frogs can actually be skipped very well under mangroves. So if you're in an area with mangroves or overhanging limbs in an area in which you like to fish, we know that those fish often seek uh, the refuge and the shade and the shelter in those mangroves groves or structure, but this is a great way to target those areas without fear of hanging up. These lures skip like a dream. So if you do have those mangroves around you and you're targeting some snook, I promise you, we all know those snook love fast moving baits. So to have something under those mangroves coming out of there, it's just an easy and really enticing meal for those fish. It's okay if you don't have mangroves in your area. Me personally, I don't have mangroves up here in the Panhandle Big Bend region so much, but what I do have a lot of is oyster bars. So if I want to work an oyster bar, this is a great way to do it in shallow water 
as well. Knowing that you can run a bait on the surface rather than on bottom will often help prevent with some of those hangups that you get in those high structure areas. Now, just to talk for a second about hook choice, I do like using the Chin Lock Z from Z-Man or a Mustad grip pin, anything that's going to allow me to uh, have hook placement on the bottom there with a nice hook. The reason I like to use that Mustab grip pin or even the Chin Lock Z or even the ZWG is because of those uh, nose keeps right there at the front of that bait. If you guys see right there, there's a little piece that actually holds that bait secured right there. The nose of that bait will not slide down the hook. Now that's helpful, especially when you go to catching a lot of fish. The bait on other Plastisol baits would normally slide down the bait, but that nose keep right there is especially helpful with the Z-Man style bait. When it comes to that hook size, I do want to let you know that a 3 aught or 4 aught both would work just as well. But one thing I like to talk about is the weight there on the bottom of that hook. I do like to use a 1 16th or 1 8th ounce option. Anything uh, more than that can often sink this bait a little bit deeper in the water column. Not that that's a bad thing, but if you're trying to remain on the surface, you'll usually have better luck with either unweighted or weighted up to a 1 8 ounce. And you're probably asking why weighted at all. And that's because I find that when using these Chinlock Z uh, hooks right here, you'll see that that weight there is on the bottom portion of the hook there at the bottom of the belly. Now, one thing I like about that weight placement there is that uh, helps this bait land flat belly side down like it should there in the water so that when it does land, it won't land upside down, causing me to foul up. If I have a little bit of weight there in the belly section, it'll help make sure that this frog sits right when it lands. So just to jump into a little bit about these Z-Man style baits, if you've never seen them, they are crazy durable. That's one of, uh, one of the really nice upsides about these style baits. But kind of the other side of the coin, if you will, they are uh, very durable, but because of this style of plastic being so pliable and soft, they aren't very dense, so they don't cast as far as maybe other frogs would but they may last a little bit longer than some other plastic frog options just based on the material that these are made out of. So just to recap for you guys, we have added uh, both of these options, both Redbone and the White Frog, uh, in the tackle shop at fishstrong.com along with the hooks to go with it. Now, if you guys would like some more information on how to set up a frog setup, like rod, reel, what type of equipment you need, be sure to leave me some feedback on that down in the comments section and we'll see if we can get that video done for you guys. But I really do want to leave you with a couple important things. Frogs, they work for everybody. They can work anytime from the spring all the way into late fall, especially now that we start getting into fall. These fish start moving around a little bit faster, a little bit more aggressively for a meal. And these frogs are a great way to trigger those bites in the shallows or from those fish around heavy cover. First thing in the morning, I do like to go with this white option because it stands out a little bit better. But when that sun gets up, as I said, you can use these all day long. I do like to go with something that looks a little bit more natural, kind of like this red bone option here. If you guys can see, it has a little bit of red flake up there, but if I turn it over, it has a little bit more of a uh, uh, opaque, a uh, bit of a cream color there, more of a whitish belly, and that's helpful for those fish trying to find it during the daytime. So a great topwater option that floats that uh, you don't have to put a lot of constant action into. Chunk, wind, bring it back. When you get the hit, hold on. If you guys want some more information about frog fishing or inshore fishing in general, be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com or like and subscribe as you will get tons of more fishing content that will be catered to make you a better angler when you're on the water. Everybody loves saving time and money, catching more fish, and that's what we're dedicated to here at Salt Strong. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. We'll link the links to all of the tackle items mentioned in the video in the description. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.